Welcome to Guns, Guns, Gear, and Guns with Gary Gunderson. I am Gary Gunderson. I have here a KE Arms KP15 Complete Lower, which I ordered off Brownells for $200. I got the cheap version that doesn't have all the ambidextrous stuff, but I did want to change out to the ambidextrous safety, so I want to show you how in this video. Now, I ordered an ambidextrous safety before I got this in, not really realizing that the safeties are actually specially built for the KE Arms KP15. Uh, the one I ordered is just a general one and would not actually work, uh, at least if I wanted to ever remove it. Uh, the website in the description basically says, if you put in a safety that is not specifically for the KP15, you basically can't get out unless you cut it out. Because traditionally, you know, you take the pistol grip off the AR-15 lower receiver and insert the spring and detent to that way. But as you can see, this is a complete pistol grip and is not removable. So they had to come up with an alternative solution. Luckily, switching between the two isn't that difficult. Uh, all you got to do is got to push it partially between safe and fire. And you'll be able to just push it and feel. And then you can see already it's starting to come out a little bit. So then just keep going there. And it comes right out. Uh, they built it specifically so you could do that. And be sure to catch your spring and detent. So then all you have to do is you'll have to, when I get my ambidextrous safety out, I'll have to take off one end and do the same thing where you basically just find that right spot and slide it in. And that's how you can get the ambidextrous safety on one of the cheaper RA pre-built KP-15 lowers. Here I have the safety I'm putting into the rifle. Taking a look at the cylinder, it's a pretty clever design as you can remove either end of the safety lever and can therefore choose between having a 45 degree or 90 degree throw with one product. And since both sides unscrew, it also lets you decide which side you want the specific shape of the safety on when they are both different like this one. You can also see how this different style of installation works, with the angled cut going to the outside working as a step and guiding the detent into place. And here you can also see how the point of the detent interacts with the safety cylinder, with the spring pressure pushing it into place. It's not that difficult to install or reinstall the safety. All you have to do is slide the spring into the hole and then drop in the detent. Make sure it's the pointed side up. I usually cover the hole with my thumb while I'm dropping it in, and then I start to slide in the actual safety cylinder. And depending on the throw you want, uh, you do have to have it at a spot in between the actual safety, kind of like how you removed it. And I have it on the 45 degree throw, so it'll be between the two. Once you have that pressed into place, I'm going to take a punch and press down on the detent in the hole while pressing towards me with the safety to get installed. And then you simply screw in the other side. And of course there's cuts matching so you are in the right setting. And there you have it, how to remove and install KE Arms safeties on the KP-15 lower. If you're watching and thinking, why is the rifle different colors all of a sudden? Be sure to check out my Boba Fett paint job video, or I have other KP-15 videos you can check out on my channel as well. 
Please like the video if you found it helpful or interesting. Leave any comments below if you're having an issue. And while you're doing that, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.